Monarch Media's continuing coverage of Old Dominion football brings us to the final non-conference game of the year, Old Dominion versus Campbell. Ted Alexander and Andy Mishaw. This one you thought might be a mismatch. The Campbells came in without their number one quarterback. They had lost to Old Dominion in the three times they had met before, and it got off to a quick start. It was it's sort of a throwback contract from when both of these programs were just starting up. And it's kind of a nice barometer to see how far Old Dominion's program has come from when the first time they played these Camels. But like you said, down a quarterback, they just got their running back back who had been out with an injury, and it, it wasn't pretty. You know, and you're thinking it's going to be a long night because of the offensive firepower of Old Dominion. But the defense from Campbell steps up early, and the Monarchs do a little trickeration on fourth down. Yeah, they got to break out the, the fake punt there. They had Monarchs left and a little reverse, and, and it worked. They have a couple of these. I don't want to give away too much, but they do have a couple of these things that they've set up. They worked in the offseason. Good to see one of them work so well. And Taylor Heineke went to town. The Monarchs had scoring drives one after the other. He'd run it in, he'd throw it in, and he'd look like Taylor Heineke's looked ever since he got it. Yeah, and in a post-game interview, he basically said it was harder to score points in Madden than it is to score points here. But you look at his numbers, they're video game numbers. He had 486 yards, seven touchdowns, which is a new record. He only got sacked once, but he did throw one interception, which is the one he's got to remember and the one he's going to talk about the most. And he, he had three drop passes in that first half. Otherwise, he was perfect, 100%. And it's, he just keeps getting better, and his numbers are just ridiculous. The patience he shows looking off the first receiver to the second and even the third. And on that play to Angus Harper, he had all afternoon. He made some more time for himself and finally sees Angus by his lonesome on the far sideline. And 84 yards later, six more points. He bought enough time running around back there. They only rushed three, and everybody dropped back deep. And Heineke just stayed there, stayed patient enough that they actually kind of forgot about Angus Harper standing by himself on the sideline. But he takes off down and nobody's going to catch him. 360 plus yards at the intermission. Monarchs had a 42 to 14 lead. And you'd think, all right, what's going to happen in the next 30 minutes other than uh, camel jokes from Ted and Andy on the radio? But uh, uh, the team sort of maintained their focus and uh, ended up winning big. Yeah, they did, and they got a chance to pull the starters halfway through the third quarter. They got some good experience in with some other guys in there. And, and, and in fact, some of those guys, Harvey Taylor, actually came in and led the Monarchs in rushing. He had nine carries for 76 yards in mop-up duty. It's valuable experience for some of those guys. Another good game for the defense. Again, it's a team defense. The team's leading tackler had like six tackles. Spreadsheet is all up and down. The tackles are spread all over the stat sheet for the tackles. It's not one guy. It's team defense. They're looking good. This offense is firing on all cylinders, and uh, they're going to need it next week. Non-conference schedule goes 3-0. and oh, That was the mission. You look ahead at the CAA schedule, and it's going to be a barn burner with ranked teams coming here and us going to their place, and it's just going to be crazy. Yeah, it is. Coming in next week, noon kickoff, early start versus New Hampshire for the first time. We just heard stats about them last year up north and battling it out with Maine and sneaking into the playoffs and fighting with Towson for first place. And now you get to see him for the first time here in person. This is going to be a good way to kick off this conference schedule. We'll find out what we really have on this team. A couple things to keep in mind. One, New Hampshire's good. Two, kickoffs at noon. Set your alarm clock now. Get a nap early. It's going to be early. Monarchs defeat Campbell 70-14. They're 3-0 on the season. For Andy Mishaw, I'm Ted Alexander for Monarch Media.